on the surface, they appear to be the sweetest person. But you know them firsthand to be exactly the total opposite. All right. They appear to be the sweetest person on the surface, but in all actuality, you know who they are. All right. The thing is this. It's it's very hard and difficult to deal with others when they will act crazy to you and act out of pocket to you and then try to act like they're the best person in the face of everyone else. It really doesn't do those to you any good just because other people think that you're a certain type of person. It only actually does people good when you are the good person that you say you are. That's the only time that does people any good. That's the only time anyone can truly benefit off of who you are is if that's actually who you are. All right. People cannot benefit off of the type of person that you are if that's not who you really say you are. And the one thing about that is you're not being authentic. You're not being the, the, the person that you're supposed to be. All right. If you are being rude to people and you try to cover it up because other people are around, that's not a, a real thing to do. That's kind of a fake thing to do, don't you think? So we all have sides of us that we kind of turn into when other people come around. We may put on a professional side. We may put on a relaxed side. We may put on a comical side. We may put on our financial side. All right, we might put on our, our frustrated, angry side. But you're still yourself somewhat. But then there are some people who transform. There are some people who shape shift. There are some people who metamorphosize right in front of the face of other people because they care more about how other people view them than how they treat you. That's why on the surface they appear to be the sweetest person because this this individual is worried about how they're viewed by others. All right, how they how you feel about them is none of their concern. They don't care how you look at them. They don't care how you treat them. They don't care how you know you look at this how you look at them. It's it's none of their concern. All right? Don't let them be doing anything for you because then it's really over. Why well, do this and I do that? It doesn't matter how you feel about me. That's dangerous. That's that's dangerous, and that's setting you up to not have people deal with you ever again. All right, no one wants to deal with someone who acts totally different when they get around other people, but will but will be a, a horrific person when no one else is around. When it's just you and them, this person is evil. But when other people are around because they don't want to be seen evil, this person is a whole different different kind of person. All right. And that that is that that is unacceptable for you. All right. That is unacceptable behavior for you. And you don't need that in your life. You don't want that in your life. That's not what you should tolerate. All right. Don't don't be tolerated. Those are people who tolerate you. And those are people who want you to tolerate that that type of behavior, which is something that you should never, ever tolerate. Don't ever tolerate piss poor behavior from other people. Only, only tolerate the best and only expect the best. Only tolerate the best and only expect the best. All right, you're, there's nothing that is never too good for you, even proper treatment. All right? A avoid people who will be one way to you and one way to others. All right? Avoid people who say you're the blame for how they feel or how they act. All right. When, when you're not when you're purposely doing something to affect someone, that's different. That would be gaslighting. You're not gaslighting them. I didn't do that to make you feel that way. There are people who just have no patience. There are people who just are are intolerable for others. All right. And there's a difference between not having patience. And there's a difference between having patience. All right. Patience is loving. Patience is kind. All right, patience is understanding. There are people out there that say, screw all of that. 
they're the only ones that are important. They're the only ones that mean anything. They're the only ones that matter. And they actually view other people as weak. All right. So on the surface, this person is fooling other people to think that they're a godsend. On the surface, this person is fooling other people into thinking that they're a good person. On the surface, this person is fooling other people into thinking that they're the ideal blank. You fill in the blank. This person is a, 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 a appealing to be the ideal whoever they are in your life. You know this person is a lion sack of potatoes when it comes to who they portray themselves to be out in public versus who this person is when it's just you and them. All right, when it's you and them, this person will be the most hardest, most difficult, possibly even evil person to be around. But when others are involved, they put on a different personality. They put on a different persona. They put on a different energy. They put on a different hat. They put on a different spirit. This person is what you call a snake. This is what you call a snake. This person... This person is a snake, all right? They um, they don't know how to be real, so the only thing they know how to do is be fake, and they actually take out on you trauma and damage and pain because you're real. I'm going to say that again. They take it out on you because you're real. They don't know how to be real, and they're mad and jealous of you for it because they're fake. On the surface, this person is pulling a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Hello. Hi, yes, I'm a nice person. I'm a good person. I treat people good. But when it's just you and them, this, this person gives you an attitude. This person gives you a hard time. This person is not kind. This person is not loving. This person is not understanding. And then when you finally lose your cool, all right, and then when you, when you finally get tired of it because a person can only take but so much, when this person finally pushes you, the good person, past the point of no, re the point of no return, all right, once they finally push you past the point of no return, all right, this person gets what they finally deserve. All right, they can't, they push you past the point of no return, and they finally get what they deserve. They're just desserts. And once they get their just desserts, all right, when, once you finally let them have it, all right, once you finally let them have it, all right, once you finally let them get exactly what they've been supposed to have been gotten a century ago, it's your fault. And, you know, they, they may um, feel some type of way about how you, you're letting them have it, but it's like this is pent-up aggression. This is why I, I tell you to not hold in resentment, and this is why I tell you to get the hell away from people like this, and this is why I tell you to avoid situations like this at all costs. And if you can, make sure you have a positive outlet of getting rid of your aggression. All right. There are all ton there, are, there are plenty of good people who will never see the light of day again because they were they were actually trying to be a good person. Oh, no. Wait a minute. What did you what did I just say? There are people who will never see the light of day again because they were trying to be a good person. Certain people who suffocated someone who was bedridden because they just tried to help them. But this person kept saying negative things and this person lost it because they finally just. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to call the cops on myself. Yep, I, I did that. I, I did it. All right. You don't want to get, you don't want people to, to take your demons out of you. All right. You don't want people to make them, somebody like, whoa. All right. You don't want people to make them demons come out of you. You don't think they know that they're aware of that. You'll put, you'll send that person to the grave and they'll be floating up like an angel talking about some, damn, they finally did it. All right. You, you don't even know. Some of these people might even want you to do it. You might have just helped them. Now they're free, and now you, you, you're incarcerated for the rest of your life. Make it make sense. It doesn't, all right? On the surface, they appear to be the sweetest person, but you know them in all actuality to be other than that. You know them firsthand to be the total exact opposite. They out here playing people, but they ain't playing you. All right, they will they will push a good person to the point of no return, and then once they turn this good person into a bad person, how could you talk to me that way? I've done nothing but help you. I have I've done nothing but the best for you. 
I have done nothing but want to see you win. How could you talk to me that way? It's all acting. They'll probably even slip up and tell you they're actors. It's all acting. It's all acting. All right, people who are fake are some of the greatest actors. These people are some of the greatest actors. They are actors. They'll probably slip up and tell you to their face. They are actors. On the surface, they appear to be the sweetest person. All right, they swear they appear to be that church goer. They appear to be that pie baker. They appear to be that uh, loving babysitter. They appear to be that uh, 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 fair uh, manager. They appear to be that reasonable, uh, level-headed, uh, respectable coworker. All right, they appear to be that upstanding citizen with a badge on. People appear to be all kinds of things until you see the demon for what it really is, truthfully, in the matter. You know these people firsthand to be the total opposite, all right? P people will be fake. People will put on an act. People will pretend that they're your friend. Where have you been? All right, yo, people will pretend all that fly stuff. All right, but you know this person to be who they truly are. Don't let people fool you. Because of the, they may even be nice. The, the most wicked thing I've ever seen is somebody really just be mean and nasty to someone and then try to be nice in front of them to, to try to be nice to them in front of other people. How are you, how you expect somebody to appreciate you as a person when you was just treating me like dog spit and then five minutes later because a new person done came around, now you want to be nice to me? All right. I, I am angry now, but now I'm nice again. That's that Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Go go on YouTube, type in uh, Saturday Night Live, Cedric the Entertainer, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I'm about to post to make a short of it or something. I am angry now. Other side. But now I am nice again. And the other side was all angry looking. That's how people, that's called Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. People will do good things to you. People will be nice to you, but then they'll turn around and do something evil. All right, whether they're aware of it or not. It's like somebody, it's like a pyro. You know, they, they like fire, but they don't know, they, they may not be aware that they could burn a whole house down. You won't let a pyro live in your house? Well, you know, they, they, they don't know what they're doing. And, you know, uh, no, screw that. You have to preserve the house. You have to preserve the home. Don't let that pyro burn your house down. All right. Well, they are nice to me. You got to weigh your pros and cons. If somebody's nice to you, but all the other things you see, you know, it, it, it's, it's not worth the cost. You got to be the boss to pay the cost because it's not worth the cost. Certain certain people in your life is not worth the cost that, that is, is taxing you on for you to keep being around them. Your health, your finances, your, your wealth, which is your health and your peace of mind and your love for life and God. Once once you feel that go away, oh, it's it's. Man, your sanity will shortly leave after. Once you feel that go away, your sanity will soonly leave after. On the surface, I'm telling you, on the surface, they, they appear to be squeaky clean. On the surface, they appear to be one of the greatest people you've ever met. On the surface, they appear to be one of those people that everyone would like to know. One of those on the surface, they just appear to be the person that everyone would like to be around. But this this person is a snake. This person is lying to you. This person is fake. This person is not who they really are, are, are showing you that they are. They're showing you something different than who they truly are. And the people that really know this person know who they truly are. And I know anybody could say that about anybody. But when it really boils down to it, who's done what to who? And who who's caused what to happen to who? Who's done what? Who's caused what? All right, don't don't be fooled out here by people's people's uh, uh, good seeming character. Some people seem good, but they're really the total opposite. Some people appear good, but they're really the total opposite. People play games like that all the time. I, I don't, I don't work with, with plenty of people, right. Who will smile at the manager and they'll smile back and they all smile, smile, smile. But then those people are really out to get you and, 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 and are trying to make you quit. All right. As far as narcissistic fatigue goes all the times where I called off of work because I was quote unquote tired and didn't know why 
I'm, I took a, sh- I got a wash, took my shower, got dressed. I'm ready, suited, and booted to go. And I just don't find it to be able to get out of bed. Now I'm calling in. Hey, yo, I can't make it in today. I'm depressed, man. Or like, yo, I just, I, I, I just lying and having to tell people that I'm sick. But guess what? Ding, 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 ding. Intuition right again. You really were sick. When people stress you out, it gives like narcissistic fatigue gives your body the same sensations that it gets when you have the freaking flu, man. Like this narcissistic fatigue, it gives you this, your body the same responses as when you have the flu. This is why going around certain people is a no-no. This is why going around certain people, you just feel so dead and tired inside, feeling like, you know, you just got hit by a bus. Because on, on the surface, they appear to be the sweetest person. And this is how a lot of people end up staying around, man. People will will end up, well, you know, that's that's a very important person to you. Well, you know, you shouldn't do this person like that. You know, uh, that, that person has been around your whole life. But this person has been damaging them their whole life. People, it has to come to a point where you get away from what's damaging you. It has to get to a point to where you get away from what's harming you, what's hurting you, what's destroying you. You can't just stick around and get destroyed just for the sake of a title, just for the sake of uh, of what someone is to you, just for the sake of a position, just for the sake of, of, of fear of where you're going to go or what's going to happen next. I guarantee you what's on the opposite side of that fear is a lot more peaceful than what you're experiencing. I guarantee you what's on the opposite side of that fear is a lot better than what you're going through and and, and what you've already endured. There's no point in keeping yourself around others who aren't being real in the sense of they'll be jacked up to you, but they'll be nice and and peaceful and, and an angel in front of everybody else. Don't be a demon to me and then be nice. To, to, to everybody else in front of me. Don't do that to me. Don't don't be wrong to me and then be right in front of everybody else because I'm not going to talk to you in front of everybody else. I'm going to play the, 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 the spit out of you in front of everybody else. All right, I'm gonna act like I'm gonna act like it's something wrong purposefully in front of everybody else. I ain't gonna act fake. I ain't gonna play them games. You know, I'm not gonna act like I like you when I don't because you, you you're an evil, rude person and you, you need some help. Tell, trying to tell me I need some help, trying to tell me there's something wrong with me. No. When when you're the one, that man, you got to get away from that. People telling you there's something wrong with you when they're the ones that got the problem. And they try to flip the script on you because you see you see the issue in them. You see what's wrong with them. And they, they want to make you feel like there's something wrong with you. Man, that's demonic. That's evil. And that's not the type of energy you need to be around. So people get tired of me making a... Uh, uh, you shouldn't be around people videos. Well, guess what? It's always going to be a little bit of some of that in some of these videos because some people people need to be made aware of this, man. Like you need to you need to go over this and go over this and go over this in your mind until it sticks. Stop going around people that don't have your best interest at heart. They're going to hurt you every time. People, I see people, you got to protect your emotions. You got to protect It ain't about protecting your emotions, man. Ain't about protecting no damn emotions. It's, it, 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 it's about protecting y- yourself. It's about protecting you. It's about protecting your energy. Ain't about protecting no emotions. It's, it's about protecting you so that way you don't end up in any situations you're not supposed to be in. It's about loving yourself enough to remove yourself from the people that don't really love you like that. They may have some love for you, but if it's not enough, then it ain't enough. If you love me just enough and that, and, and, and that ain't enough, what am I supposed to do with that? You know, you looking out just enough. That's good. But if you if you stabbing me in the back of the process, hey, I'm helping you. But you're stabbing me in the back. What is the what good is that? You, you helping me to a slow death. You help you helping you helping me become crazy. How's that work? It doesn't. It's not supposed to work. All right, you 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 can't be fooled by how people show who who people show you that they are. You can't be fooled by that. All right, you can't be fooled by people who show you who they are. Eventually, you know they're gonna show that other side is gonna pop out. Eventually, that other side is gonna pop out, and you're gonna see it in real time and be like, whoa, that's who they really are. And, you know, the people who can be around that, the people who can ignore that, they're probably just as evil as them. So now that this is why a lot of highly awakened spiritual people are realizing that it, now is the time to separate. Now is the time to, you know, 
do now is the time to be around some real good positive people. And if you can't be around real good positive people, it's time to not be around next to nobody. If you can't find positive, peaceful people to be around, it's time to just go it alone and do your own thing. But when you do find some peaceful people, thank God, because you're blessed. All right. When you find some people that are the same on the surface as they appear to be in person as they are around other people, you're blessed. Nobody's perfect. All right. And we all have our flaws and, and ways about us. But. It's certain things that just are unsaid, certain things that is just our deal breakers, our, our line crossers, our, our barrier breakers, our, um, what are they called? Our, our boundary breakers, you know, like don't, don't go, don't go testing people's boundaries. Don't go breaking people's boundaries, but that's what people do in life. All right. You know? People will cross some lines and cross some boundaries and then sit down and have a meal with you and act like it's all good. All right, people will cross lines and cross boundaries and be saying terrible things about you that have people come over and sit down for a holiday dinner. All the while, the past week, they've just been, they've been taking a dump on you and clowning you and making fun of you like it's okay. All right, pe people, a lot of people are realizing that, you know, they've been around some fake people. A lot of people are realizing that, you know, they'd be better off if they were by themselves because they want to be around some real quality people. They don't want to be around fake energy. They don't want to be around people who are trying to use them. They don't want to be around people who um, have agendas, hidden agendas, people who, you know, have secret motives. All right. People who are on the surface appearing to be one way, but then acting like something else. You know, like keep it real. If you want to be a demon, be a demon. Don't be good to me just because other people are around. Be as evil as you was five minutes ago before this person showed up. But that's not people. If, if they acted like that, that person really wouldn't want nothing to do with them. And when you when you see people put on a show for somebody else, but then they can't be that same person in front of somebody else, you got to ask yourself a question. Why was you just yelling, hollering, screaming at me five minutes ago? But now somebody else come over and you act like a totally different person. I'm not I'm no I'm no different than this person is to you. How come you could treat them this way? But you can you treat me with all the disrespect. And then they'll probably they'll probably come at you like, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is this is what people use gaslighting for. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never done no such thing. Well, you, you, we could say that about you, too. All, all this type of garbage, all this type of foolishness, when all you're trying to do is get to the point, solve the problem, see if you can work things out. But this person is a child. Or you can't expect a child to be an adult. You can't expect someone who's not mature to be mature. You can't expect someone who's a child in a grown-up body to act like an actual real grown-up. Ever since you was younger, you probably could sense that you was more mature and wiser than other people. And now as you're, you're growing, you're, you're able to see, like, you was kind of right. All right, don't, don't let people play you be one way to, to, to you in a different way when other people come around. That's what you call fake. That's what you call being a snake. All right. That's what you, that's what you call shedding your skin to become a bigger snake. Some of these, some of these people trying to get y'all to come back in, in their life say no. All right. You can't forget how hard it was trying to, to get out of certain situations when you finally got out of it, how peaceful it was. How, how your strength came back, how your health came back, how your vibrancy came back, how the, the, the jubilant look in your face came back, how your joy came back, how your self-love returned. All right, this is the era of self-love, not the era of what the fudge. You know, people will try to play you and act like there's somebody else when they're not. So just get used to it, all right? That's what being fake is, all right? They're going to try to uh, portray themselves as a good person, as a better person, especially when you're around. All right, they're going to try to portray themselves as somebody that's worthy, somebody that, you know, is, is decent to other people when they ain't. All right, you know when a person is decent and when they're not. You know when a person is a good person and when they're not. Don't let people play you and don't let people misuse you and don't let people, you know, uh, try to, treat you one way around other people and then when other people get around try to treat you different they got to keep that same energy and so should you you know if they want to try to treat you different and then when somebody else comes around they want to be all nice don't be nice with them 
you know, continue to continue to act like something's wrong. Continue to, to, to keep your distance. Continue to treat this person like, you know, they should be treated, you know, like with a watchful eye, carefully, with discernment, with intuition. And then remove yourself from this situation ASAP. All right. You know, don't deal with coworkers like this. Don't talk to them. Ask to get your shift changed. Go out and work in the lobby. Go out and work in another part of the office. Find a, a, a space away from this type of energy because it'll save your life. I'll see you in the next video.